Welcome to fifth grade math with Mr. J. All right, so this is part two of understanding the place value system. If you didn't check out part one, I dropped the link below in the description. I highly suggest you check out part one before part two. Part one has a more in-depth description of what we are doing here in part two. We're applying part one to some questions here in part two. And then once we're done with part two, I also have a link to the mastery check where you are gonna try some of these on your own and see how you do if you understand what's going on. Okay, so this is um, understanding the place value system which aligns with standard MBT.1, okay? And we're gonna take a look at the relationship between different places within our place value system, okay? And I have four numbers here uh, with a place value chart aligned with all four and then a fill in the blank question that goes with each. Okay, so we're gonna hop into number one here. And the question says the eight in the hundreds place is blank the value of the eight in the tens place. Hmm. So we have an eight that is valued at 800 I'm going to put it right here, 800, right below our place value chart. And a and an 8 that it has a value of 80. All right, so we're going to see how much greater this 8 is in value than this 8. And in my previous video, part 1, we talked about one jump to the left in our place value chart increases a number a number's value by what? What do you think? Hopefully you said it increases a number's value by 10. This 10 in 800 is 10 times the value of that 10 in 80 because every jump to the left in our place value chart increases a number's value by 10. So let's read our sentence back to ourselves and see if it makes sense because there are some that switch up. We get smaller in value. Hint, that's number three and four. But let's check number one. The eight in the hundreds place is 10 times the value of the eight in the tens place. That is true. We jumped one spot to the left, increased our value by 10. These are sample fifth grade questions that fifth graders should be able to answer um, applying to our place value unit. Okay, so this is good practice for us. Let's check number two. The seven in the 10 millions place, I'm gonna underline it, is blank the value of the seven in the 10 thousands place. So this seven. So we're getting larger in value. One, two, three jumps, three places to the left. So three jumps, I'm gonna draw it out over here. Each jump, the value increases by 10, so we have 10 times 10 times 10, which is not 30. 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000. So our value increased by 1,000. Let's read the sentence back. The seven in the 10 millions place is 1,000 times the value of the seven in the 10 thousands place true three spots three places to the left which is a thousand times greater now in number three and four the wording of the sentence is a lot different not a lot different it's just opposite so number three the eight in the ones place i'm going to put an eight in the ones place here is blank the value of the eight in the hundreds place. So we are comparing this eight, eight in the ones to the eight in the 800. We're actually going decreasing in value. We're going from the 800 to the eight. So we are making one, two jumps to the right. We are decreasing in value. Does anybody remember what each jump is to the right? One two. Hopefully you said one-tenth. 
So every jump to the right is one tenth the value. So if we go one tenth times one tenth, not one twentieth, multiply the tenth, so it's one hundredth. Eight is one hundredth the value of eight hundred. Or the sentence exactly reads, the eight in the ones place is one hundredth the value of the eight in the hundreds place. True. All right, let's check number four. We have a four in the hundreds place, and we are comparing that to the four in the hundred thousands place. So we are going from the four in the hundred thousands to the hundreds place. So one, two, three jumps to the right. One, two, three. And each jump to the right, as we decrease in value, is one tenth. So one tenth times one tenth times one tenth is not one thirtieth. Ten times ten times ten is one thousand. So let's read it back. The four in the hundreds place is one one thousandth the value of the four in the hundred thousands place. Hundred thousands place. Okay. Um, so if you think you, if you think you're ready to try some on your own, go ahead to the mastery check, and I'll see you over that way. If you need a refresher or just to watch part one, click part one and then try the mastery check. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and drop a comment if there's any material you'd like me to cover. Until next time, peace.